Alright, so if you need to remove your uh, lower control arm on a 944, um, the easiest way, I think, is just to remove these two bolts, which are 17 millimeter. This bolt which is an 18 millimeter. You have to remove this bolt, 17 millimeter. You also have to remove the sway bar. So the sway bar nut is a 17 millimeter. And then to get the the sway bar to come down, uh, you need to remove these two 13 millimeter bolts, and that bolts up onto here. And to get this to come out, sometimes you might just want to take a uh, big flathead screwdriver, stick it in there, and pry it open a little bit. And that helps it come out uh, pretty easily. These two bolts get torqued to 34 foot pounds. If you take this bolt off, um, when you put that on, torque it to 63 foot pounds. This gets torqued to 48 foot-pounds. This bolt gets torqued to 37 foot-pounds. And the uh, nut for the stabilizer bar gets torqued to 18 foot-pounds. For the aluminum control arm, 17 foot-pounds if you have a steel control arm. And these get torqued to 17 foot-pounds. Easiest way to get this on is to put that in first. Uh, get this at least seated in the clamp. And... Um, And you can get the control arm through there. And then you need to put a jack under here and lift lift up on here so that this lines up. And you can get uh, these bolts in. You don't have to put a jack under there, you can put the wheel on and lower the car a little bit and crawl under and uh, attach those bolts. It's up to you what you want to do. When you're putting in this bolt, don't jack it up too high because you can go too far and the bolt, bolt won't go in. You can actually look into the hole and line it up as you're jacking up the control arm. Of course, don't forget your lock washer.